while you're in the first five seconds of the video, go ahead, like, and subscribe. I get it. You just hopped out of the bed. You wanted to come pick your son up. I get it. But what if Christ would have came back in the process of you doing that? You feel me? I don't, that's I wouldn't want to. That's kind of extreme. I, I know it's extreme. I think you, he's more righteous than that. But here's the thing, though. See, I don't know what's in your mind. But he does. He does. So I think but you know what he says about our mind? That? that it's wicked as hell. It is. You know what I'm saying? Above all So, things. so my yeah. thing is, is as well. I don't want to take that opportunity if I was you. Mm. I don't want to take that chance. You know what I'm saying? Because we all fall short, right? Of you course. feel me? Of course. But, but this is a small, least commandment that we could keep easily. This is, to be honest with you, bro, you know, this is love what we're doing. It's no different if we saw some of our brothers right here smoking weed, we'll address that too. The fact that you said that you're an Israelite, it, it brings joy in us. Right. You know it what should. I'm saying? It really should. So the thing is, when that brings joy, it's like, okay, I because the scriptures say you would know a man by his look. And by his fruits. You know what I'm saying? Right. By, by his fruits fruit. as well. So it's going to take time for me to see your fruits. Right. You, just, you don't even know me. No, no. I don't know you. Right. So how but, could you say that no, no. you just bust out? You ain't got fringes on. You no, I got you, bro. I got you. But this is the reason why we saying what we saying. Give me that in Zephaniah chapter 1 verse 8. I'm going to show you why we saying that, bro. What we We're should not be getting talking about is overcoming. And how I we going to smash bro. Satan. How we going to smash the enemy. Look, the reason, why, the reason why I want to bring this to your attention, James, sure. because here's the thing. We teach by word and action, That's right? right brother. That's you know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Because a lot of people don't know that they're Israel. Right. I go everywhere I go, they don't know I'm Israel until they see these fringes. Mm -hmm. Like, when we start setting up, the first thing one brother said, he said, God bless you, Shalom. So you that, knew we was Israel is based off my fringes. So just check me out. Hear me out, bro, sure. because I'm not getting on you. I'm just showing you the importance on why we even saying what we saying. I don't know. But, get, but hear me out, because a lot of people may not know, because you wear fringes is an honorable thing. Mm -hmm. It's no different if your son, this your son, correct? Yes, sir. If, if, he's, if he's wearing anything other than what you prescribe to, mm -hmm. you're going to question that. You, you see what I'm saying? Because if he come out here wearing gang colors, you know what I'm saying? You're going to be like, son, what's going on? I, I didn't teach you to be like that. Right. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So the importance of us wearing what God wants us to wear, it holds great value. I, and I'm going to show you that. Real, read, read that real quick. I told you. This is the book of Zephaniah chapter 1 and verse 8. And it shall come to pass in the day of the Lord's sacrifice that I will punish the princes and the king's children. So God says when he comes back, he's going to punish his children. Mm -hmm. Listen. And all such as clothed with strange apparel. So God says when he comes back, if he catches his children with strange apparel, he's going to punish them. We don't want that for our brother James. You see what I'm saying? I get it. You just hopped out of the bed. You wanted to come pick your son up. I get it. But what if Christ would have came back in the process of you doing that? You feel me? I don't, that's I wouldn't want to. That's kind of extreme. I, I know it's extreme. I think you, he's more righteous than that. But here's the thing, though. See, I don't know what's in your mind. But he does. He does. So I think but you know what he says about our mind? That? that it's wicked as hell. It is. You know what I'm saying? Above all So, so my yeah. thing is, is well. I don't want to take that opportunity if I was you. Mm -hmm. I don't want to take that chance. You know what I'm saying? Because we all fall short, right? Of you course. feel me? Of course. But, but this is a small, least commandment that we could keep easily. It's not like it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, um, a subject of our of our mind that we got to deal with like some some brothers they struggle with porn mm -hmm. that's something hard for them to do because it becomes an addiction you wear your fringes that's easy to keep so that's a give me that in matthew real quick that's an easy law to keep it is you see what i'm saying that's so nice. god says if you trim your ways and show people how to do that he's going to hold you accountable for that <laughs> you feel me because neither do you have fringes or your son mm -hmm. You feel what I'm saying? So when you wear them all the time, it's gonna it's gonna put a seed in his head, but like, man, these is though my pops wear them no matter what. You feel me? Now he's starting to pick up. Read that, 517. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 5, and verse 7 and verse 17. Think not that I am come to destroy the law or the prophets. I am not, I am not come to destroy, but to fulfill. 
For verily I say unto you, till heaven and earth pass, one jolt or one tittle shall in no wise pass from the law. So, so Christ is saying that these laws got to be kept as long as the earth and the heavens is showing. Read on. To all be fulfilled. Uh -huh. Whosoever therefore shall break one of these least commandments. So keeping fringes is a least commandment. He said, whosoever shall break one of these least commandments. You know you Israel too, right? So this message is for you as well. Read. And shall teach man so. And shall teach man so. So if you, your actions teach just like your words do. You know what I'm saying? Right. You know what I'm saying? Because here's the thing. If you're teaching your child how to ride a bike, you're going to ride a bike too. Look, this is how you do it, son. Or if you're showing them how to, huh? Your words create a reaction. Your words create a reaction just like your actions. Because it's an expression in the world that your actions speak louder than words. Because I could tell you I love you, I love you, I love you, but smack you upside your head and call you a B, that don't mean that I love you. So God is saying that. Here. Read it from 19 from the top. Whosoever therefore shall break one of these least commandments and shall teach men so, he shall be called the least in the kingdom of heaven. So he said he shall be called the least in the kingdom of heaven. The least in the kingdom of heaven means you ain't getting the kingdom of heaven. You see what I'm saying? That's, the, that's why we're telling you that, bro. It's not to get on you. It's just to give you that so you can, so you can meditate on it. And now you can go to God and be like, you know what, let me do a little more research, Father, because I wasn't really aware of that. You know what I'm saying? Because like you say, you got this relationship with him and he knows your heart. So you go to him and be like, hey, look, Father, look, I ran into these brothers. You know what I'm saying? They told me this. I want to meditate on it. I want to pray. Can you open that understanding up to me so I can, so I can know I got to put friends on all of my shirts? What is nation? Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. 